My thoughts on all the Star Wars news as I zoom through a speed painting of lightsaber hilts that I did, um, just some concept work that will probably never see the light of day unless I show it here. So here it is, folks, a new Star Wars trailer for all the for the final installment of the Skywalker saga. I'll just be kind of brief about it. Rise of Skywalker. Been reading a lot of news about how Skywalker can be a term for someone who can use the Force, which I think is absolutely stupid. I, uh, the, I haven't been impressed with the movies in quite a while. Um, I didn't like The Force Awakens. Didn't like uh, The Last Jedi. And I probably won't like this film either. It's Star Wars, though, so I'll watch it. Um, I've been more impressed with Dave Filoni and um, what they're doing as far as the narrative side of it to where they're doing TV shows and stuff like that. And Disney Plus is going to be, what, six ninety nine. So, yeah, I'm completely and totally down for that. Will J.J. Abrams be Disney's golden boy and fix the problems Ryan Johnson made? Uh, today's news also broke that the Star Wars films will go on hiatus for a while. Uh, I believe that's a good thing. They were way too rushed for the last trilogy. A lot of it kind of like, if you look at the uniforms, they look kind of cheap and stuff like that. Um, a lot of people don't seem to notice that or that's not their critique of it, which is fine, you know. That's fine, but uh, still at the same time, I'm not too impressed by the trilogy. Like I said, I'm, I'm more interested in Clone Wars. I'm more interested in um, what's going on with Rebels. I haven't seen the new cartoon that is more kid-friendly and kid-oriented. Oriented. So, well, you know, I'll look at it when I see it, but I'm not really interested in, like, the super kiddie stuff. Also, if Star Wars, if you're listening, you can be adult and be dark at the same time and kids will still love it. Look at The Empire Strikes Back. Look at Return of the Jedi. I mean, come on. Those were kid-friendly movies that still at the same time had some pretty dark messages. At the end of Empire Strikes Back, they lose. So it is what it is. Um, also, I noticed that Rey uh, must have rebuilt Luke's old lightsaber, which, I mean, good for her, but she should build, be building her own lightsaber, considering she's this adept at the Force. The action looks pretty cool. Um, the teaser pretty much has no story uh, points or plot points in it whatsoever. Um, but at the end of the trailer, you can hear the Emperor, Emperor Palpatine, laughing and calculating and stuff like that, and that just gave me a big... I roll because it's like, dude, come on. How many ways? You can push this narrative forward in 150 different ways, but you still keep on rehashing the same old shit. And it's absolutely ridiculous. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to watch it anyways. You know, they make the Star Wars movies and I watch them. That's pretty much my job these days. Also, we're getting a new video game, which looks pretty awesome. It's called Jedi Fallen Order. So apparently some people are upset that it the, it's a white guy who is the main character and you know like I could really give a shit honestly like I don't fucking care about any of this people get so upset about some of the stupidest things humanly imaginable I think they just want attention maybe that's what it is or not but I mean, we haven't even seen the gameplay we don't know what's gonna happen yet it doesn't come out till November but these people are super upset because it's a white kid with red hair. It, it stars the kid from Shameless and Gotham. I don't watch Gotham because Gotham is batshit crazy. And how are you going to tell a story about Batman without Batman in it? It's stupid to me. Anyways, so we're going to get a lot of Star Wars that, you know, we'll get, we're going to get the movie. They're going to take some time off, be on hiatus and stuff like that. The guys from Game of Thrones are talking about doing some stuff and. Knights of Old Republic era, which would be super awesome. Get away from the Skywalkers, because, I mean, in the end, they're all pretty much dead anyways, except for Kylo Ren, which, you know, I like Kylo Ren, but dude is a little unhinged. I wouldn't trust the future of the galaxy to that motherfucker. Anyways, Clone Wars, I'm super excited about. I'm going to watch all of that. Dave Filoni can do no wrong in my eyes. I watched the end of... Star Wars Rebels, and that, what, that shit made me cry. 
Kanan Jarrus when he died. Sorry, spoiler alert. Kanan Jarrus when he died, I cried. I sat on my couch and cried. I might have been upset about some other things. Might have had a couple of drinks, but whatever. Still at the same time, woke up, watched Star Wars Rebels, was really into it, and then at the end, Kanan like saves everybody and is like all oh, like benevolent Jedi guy, and I'm just like, damn, fucking hurt, hurt. Why all my heroes gotta die? Anyways, that's uh, my thoughts about it. I might have a little bit more stuff about what I'm drawing here in the hilt. The hilt with the dragon head, I redrew about 15 different times, and I'm still not happy with it, and I probably could go a little bit more in depth with the colors, because I use Procreate for this, and for some reason, I cannot paint as well in Procreate as I do in Photoshop with the, just a regular Wacom tablet. I'm on an iPad Pro, hitting it as hard as humanly possible, and for some reason, I can't get my colors and get everything to mix and match the way that I can in Photoshop. Of course, I am a Photoshop junkie. I'm not going to say I'm a master at it or anything. I'm just saying that I know more in Photoshop than I do with anything else. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this content. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the drawing. Um, if you would like to like and comment, you guys want to talk about some Star Wars stuff, that's completely and totally cool with me. You want to talk about Legends, you want to talk about the new canon. I'm familiar with some of it. I'm not familiar with all of it. You know, I'm sorry. I don't have the money to purchase everything all at the same time and be up on top of it like everybody else does. Anyways, uh, this is Odin Zulu. Please like and subscribe if you like what you hear. I think I might do some deep dives. Uh, sorry it didn't come out directly after Star Wars Celebration, but I work a day job and have kids and a wife and all sorts of stuff like that. So. I'm going to try and do some stuff like this for things that are coming out that I'm interested in and we can talk about it and see how interested people are. If you like this video, yeah, like I said, please like and subscribe and I'll do more like this. Everyone, please have a good day. Bye-bye.